this is an introduction video of the Rayron RGB and white wireless synchronization control system. Uh, in, our, in our RGB and white controllers, we have a master controller. It goes with the RF remote controller with the master and uh, also have the slave controllers. These two are slave controllers and it's only the controller itself. It don't have the remote control. And the uh, RF remote control is working at 433 megahertz. It communicates with the master controller only. It do not talk to the slave controllers. And the master controller transmits the signals to slaves by 2.4 gigahertz. So it's a dual band wireless system. The remote controls the master only and the master talk to the slaves. This is the basic concept of the system. Now, let's have a look at the basic operation of the RGBW system. So this is remote controller. It's on off control here. So it's quite simple. This is on, this is off, on. And uh, we have the white setup. Here is uh, for white color, it's brightness. And here is for white function. So the brightness is quite simple. You just uh, you can adjust the higher brightness or lower brightness for only white color here. We also have a white only and the white off key. This is a shortcut key to adjust the white function. If we press the white only key, that means only white color left. The RGBs are all off. And if we press the white off button, then the white is off and only left is the RGB color. So this is for a very fast uh, switch between white and RGB color. And here is for the uh, RGB color selection. We, we have some shortcut keys for different color, uh, white, uh, red, green, blue, and uh, some colors here. We also have the color plus and color mi minus key. This for uh, scroll around the 30 preset static colors. Uh, the 30 colors here, and then you can select the preset colors also. And for color, we also have the brightness setup is here. Is brightness up and brightness down. So this brightness is only for color brightness and this is for white so we can set up the white color and the rgb color brightness uh, totally independent so this is a very uh, important feature uh, now it's uh, on, uh, only rgb color left and we have a look at here is for the dynamic mode the dynamic mode is for rgb color this mood minus and plus speed minus and plus function for the mood minus and plus is for adjust the dynamic mood. We have 42 preset dynamic moods and you can select the, the uh, wanted uh, the dynamic mood from here by, by mood minus or mood plus. So you can select around the 42 dynamic moods. And this is for the running speed selection. We can make it faster or make it slower. Yes, this is very slow. And as the dynamic moves, the master controller is talking to the slave control uh, of real time. So that means the controllers are always running in phase. And uh, they, never, uh, they will never run out of step for each other. So once the master light up, the slaves must light up and when it fade off, the slaves fade off. This is a very important feature for the synchronized uh, dynamic modes. This is for dynamic mode. And even at the dynamic mode, the, you can still set up the white brightness here. Okay, give some white color. So you can see this is a mixture of the color dynamic and the basic uh, white lighting. You can still set up the uh, white brightness. So the white is controlled independently from the RGB colors. This is a very important feature. 
And uh, here we also have the zone control. The zone control means you can set up uh, different slave uh, controllers in different room or in different window. Uh, we can set up three zones. Now uh, we already set as uh, two slaves to zone two and zone three. The master is always one zone, uh, zone one, and the slaves can be in any zone. So we have a basic look at the zone control. First, we go to the static color. And we go to zone one. You press the zone one first and select the color. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Zone one, press the zoom button and select different color. Now it's only for just the zone one. And all functions you are setting, you are setting the zone one only. The two and the three, they're keeping keeping the previous status. This is for zone one, and we go to zone two. I want a blue color or red color. So this is setting up zone two. And we go to zone three. I want a red or whatever color. So here is for zoom control. If you want to set up all, all zones together, you press the all zoom button and to give a sign color for all zones. This is for uh, zoom control. And that means you can set up different uh, zones with different uh, uh, static color. For dynamic modes, they're always in synchronized mode. So synchronized uh, dynamic mode. So once you press the uh, mode, they are in dynamic mode uh, at the same time. So you cannot, cannot set up uh, one zone to static and the other zones to the dynamic mode. At dynamic mode, everything is in dynamic mode. So this is a basic operation. And uh, now uh, I will show you how to pair a new slave to a, a special zone. For example, now uh, this is zone one, two, three. Now I have a new uh, slave controller and I want to match it to zone two. So uh, next will be the operation. First, I need to plug off the power of the slave controller. Plug off the power and then plug on again. Then in five seconds, press these two keys on the remote. And then press the wanted zone, zone two. So the first two keys, combo key is the on and the white brightness plus these two keys together and then the desired zone. I press zone two before. Now let's have a look. I want to go to zone two and uh, static green color. They are changing now. So these two control slave controllers are in zone two now. And I try, I show it again. Now I want to match this remote, this slave controller to zone one. I repeat the operation. Plug off the slave controller and plug off on the power again. Press these two keys together. The first step, the second step, the desired zone. You can see the indicator will flash three times. Flash white for three times means the command is accepted. Now I go to zone one and give a red color. The zone one is going to red color. So this is the zone setting for the slaves. And the uh, one important thing is the master controller is always in zone one. So the master controller can never go to zone or two or three. But the slave controllers they can they can go to any zone, one, two or three. And there's no quant quantity limit for the uh, slave controllers in each zone. This is a basic that's demonstration video of the RGBW system. Uh, thanks for watching.